we're back out in the bush and we are trying along this little bank here and I have sort of been up around here and I haven't really been in here um, very thoroughly so on my way over to where I've been detecting I thought I'd swing along here and uh, dug a few bottle caps and then I heard 22 here and it looks rather coin like now we're gonna say half penny ringing up at 22 it's nearly going to be a um, not a Britannia, I don't think. Could be wrong. It's not silver, is it? No. Anyway, we'll give it a clean. It's probably going to be a Commonwealth coin, I'd say. And there we have a 1936 half penny. Bit of the old coin cancer on it, but anyway. And George the Fifth. So brilliant. I'm just going along the edge of this track here. Um, and after the rain, there's just you know a heap of bits of glass and crockery just washed up. So you know it's all the way along here. So I've just been going along the edge of this track and having a look. Got up to here, um, apart from a couple of rivets, I haven't found much. Then I spied that one down there. What is that? <laughs> Looks like a lovely big old marble. Or else it's someone's glass eye. <laughs> Look at that. Lovely big one. Now whether it's, I don't know how old it is, it's um, possibly 50s or somewhere around there, but anyway, <laughs> it's a nice old marble. Glass marble, so that is cool find on the surface. Anyway, we'll pop them in the bag and we'll see what else we can find. I've no doubt um, this used to be quite a well used little track in its day. In and out of the settlement, all the activities in here. Anyway, I had a signal down here and I thought we might live dig it and see what it is. Twenty-one. Some nice numbers for a thrippence. But we're going to see what it is. <laughs> it's not too far away, I don't think. Probably going to be a rivet or something, but it's not. It's going to be that, whatever that is. Don't know what that is. So we'll give it a clean and see if we can work it out. Unless it's a squashed bullet or something. Don't know. Anyway, I'll we'll give it a quick brush. Well, I still don't really know what it is, but it has got a square hole through it. And it has got a little well, I guess you'd call it a grub screw there to hold it onto 
the square shaft or whatever it was over so whether it's off an old handle off something or what it is I don't even know if there's a slot on the end of that I assume there is anyway um so something that slid over a square shaft and was held on with a little screw there anyway it was a good signal but it wasn't quite the coin I was hoping for had a 16 down here got a button by the looks looks a bit inside out or something Anyway, I'll give that one a clean because I can see some kind of writing on there, so we'll see what it is. It's a little bit hard to see here, but um, here we've got Rivine, R-I-R-V-I-N-E, pretty sure that's it, unless that's an L, it might be an R dot Lurvine, I don't know, it looks like a gap between the first letter and maybe a dot, so R something must be Irvine, R Irvine, and then on this side we've got Taylor and Company, so it doesn't actually tell you where it's from, but we'll see if we can find that out online. So R Irvine and R Irvine Taylor and Company. So I don't know if Taylor is a name or the business, <laughs> as in a tailor. Had some good numbers here, and apart from a lot of rust, we did find a keyhole. So something metal with a brass keyhole. Oh, no, it's still got a little metal stuck to it and there's bits of it everywhere here and I did throw a chunk of it somewhere over here anyway so <laughs> whatever that was it was a metal box with a brass keyhole or a metal something with a brass keyhole I think this signal's worthy of a live dig, so we'll see what it is. A nice clean signal right here. Come on, coin. <laughs> seen anything. Still down our hole, that's why. Somewhere. I think we're in that wall there. What a sounds. So we better dig a bit wider. And something's dropped out. Don't know what it is. Probably just gonna be a washer. Is it? Oh no, it's going to be, sorry, it looks like an Anzac badge to me. And it possibly had a, um, a metal pin on the back. So, I can see 1941, which is the beginning of the Second World War. Well, uh, midway through the war, I guess you'd say. Um, anyway, we'll give that a clean and see how she comes up, but that is cool. I've never found one of those before. Bit of an overcast day, so we haven't got any sunlight, but 
That is a 1941 Anzac commemoration badge with the reef around the outside. A for Anzac, 1941. So I haven't really cleaned up that side all that well, but I don't think there's anything additional on it other than it would have had a iron pin coming down, I'd say. But she's long gone. Found this one down here. And you might say, what is that? It's brass. About a 16. Got some little holes there. And there is another part to it here which fell off. And that will tell us what it was. It's got little teeth there. So, um... Anyway, I'd say that went in somewhere like that, maybe. Anyway, and there's a little buckle of some sort. So, nothing on it, but it is a buckle, so anyway. There's where I got the little buckle thing, and I just spied this one down here. Looks like some kind of um, ceramic button or something. Not even get out of the sunlight. Anyway, get him to focus, and I'll just dig him out. There we go, and he's still got the hole through the back. So, a little surface find. Got a couple of bottle tops out of this hole. But our signal was this thing. Which looks rather like a hinge or something that has been screwed onto wood or maybe a bolt um, keeper anyway it's not a bad little one so we'll keep going 16 and I've got a brass could say ring, but I'm going to say band, or a brass band of something. So anyway, what it was off, I don't know, but it's off something. I'm swinging along here, um, with a little bit of glass, and, you know, got to this spot and there's a fair few signals. One of them that attracted me was this one. I thought, what on earth can that be? It's really screaming at me. Well, look at that. What is that? 31, can that be a token? Certainly looks big enough. Oh, look at that. That looks like, um, who does that look like? Um, tell you what, let's get out into a bit of sunlight here. Um, not really good on the early kings, I don't find too many of them, but, um, It's an early monarch. I have found one coin with him on it, but look at that. It's got a milled edge and it's big. Is that going to be a crown or something, a half crown? <laughs> if that is, I'm chuffed. 
Well, I'm chuffed anyway, but it does look semi little silvery look there. And with that edge, it's got to be silver. It's too big for a florin. Have we found a half crown? <laughs> Let's give that a clean. Um, and in fact, I'll try to leave you on because it's not every day you find a huge silver. So bear with me, I'll get my cleaning kit out and I'll just clean it. I'll try and keep them in camera for you. So I'll try and wash some of it off gently as we can. I don't want to scratch him too much. I'll just try and get that to come off without too much rubbing. Then I'll give him another rinse. I don't even know what to expect here because I've never found one of these before. I don't know if this one's been burnt, it sort of had a bit of a purpley tinge to it, which, I don't know. So, we'll get all that off, and then I'll go on the other side, yep, yeah, and I'll get a bit of a clean at that. Um... That is absolutely beautiful. That is coming up absolutely beautifully. You'll have to excuse me if the filming's a bit bad because I'm kind of watching what I'm doing here. Look at that. That is beautiful. Now, someone will better tell me or I'll better find out what that monarch is something the fourth just can't quite remember which um who he was but get rid of that and have a look at this side in fact i'll get the camera back up and find somewhere to put this down for a minute there we go now i've got two hands again 1834 and it doesn't actually say, but I'm assuming that's a half crown. And if we flip him over, you've already sort of seen, but anyway, this is our proper look. That is the find of the year for me, I think. A monstrous big silver. Absolutely amazing. 1834. So, right in the middle of a bike track. Right smack in the middle of it. <laughs> so that is amazing. And that is something you dream about finding, but don't find very often. So absolutely amazing beautiful big chunky piece of silver and I sort of thought it was a bit worn or it sort of is a bit on that side but considering the age look at that detail it's absolutely beautiful anyway we could spend all the rest of the day looking at that, but I'm going to have to put it carefully away. And we're going to see if there's anything else to find here. But I think that is the find of the year for me. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Well, over there is where I got the half crown. And I've been scouting around and around. And 
Apart from, you know, bits of tin and rubbish, there hasn't been a lot more here. So it could be just a one-off drop. And I bet you someone was annoyed to get home and find they'd lost a half crown. Anyway, had a 19 here, and we've got one of our aerated water bottle stoppers. Davenport, London. So, <laughs> there's no shortage of those out here at all. Anyway, we'll keep scouting around. I'm certainly going to, you know, do a good area around where I found the big silver and just make sure there's no other coins or anything around. But, um, it's looking like it was a one-off drop. Someone's lost it. So, sad for them. But <laughs> a good day for us. Got a button. <laughs> Don't know if there's much on it. I think there is actually. Let's see if we can get a peek. But I think we might have to give it a clean. I reckon I can see DG which makes me think it's a double ring edge. So we'll give it a clean, clean while we're going and make sure. Actually, I reckon I can see best ring edge. So the best ring edge button. So we'll leave it at that, we'll clean up later, I think. Again, smack bang in the middle of the bike track. <laughs> we got a uh, 1920. I reckon it's going to be a toe cap. Yep. So, L brass toe caps. Old brolly slider. Got another button, and I don't know if there's anything on it. But looking at the way that's cleaning up, we should know in a minute. <laughs> so we've got no light to put it in. Uh, that's another best ring edge. Same as the last one, but it's got the black paint left still. So anyway, best ring edge. I wonder if the guy that lost the half crown was wearing one of those buttons. <laughs> Down, there. Down there was where I got the button. And I had a 19 under this bit of a sapling here. And we've got that one, which looks rather like a buckle of sorts. So, I'll give that one a quick um, clean and we'll be back. That's quite an unusual one, you know. I've found buckles similar to that, but not with such a fancy tongue. <laughs> it's got the two spikes, but it's got this little loopy thing holding them together, which is, you know, a bit unusual, a bit fancy. So I can't see any name on it or anything of any sort of writing, but that's quite an unusual one, quite a um, nice little design. So anyway, that is not a bad find. And button, buckle, let's see what else is in this particular area. We've got two signals, so we may be steps away from another signal. Or swings away from another signal. 
just around there is where I got the buckle and the button. I've sort of come around this tree and got a, uh, well, about a 16 here. And this is one item I'd like to know what they were. I've got about three of them now. This will be the third. Um, well, I'll give it a clean, but they're a round thing and some of them have writing and it's got a little spring-loaded little catchy thing that spits a tongue out here somewhere anyway I'll give it a clean we'll have a better look but I have found them before and I don't know what they're off we're really short on sunlight today but that is what they look like um, they quite often, the ones I've found are gold gilded and that you can just see a bit of gold there so it's been gold gilded and it is the same brand as one I found I think I can just see there West's Patent West's Patent and it's got this sort of a symbol -y thing here which I assume is a possibly a W with a I don't know what around it but they've got this little um, knob thing and in the other ones I've found you can see like a spring in there so they're spring loaded and still a bit of dirt caked in there but there's a little um, round tab that pops out of there and I don't know if it goes both ways but um, I just don't know what they were off they're gold gilded so they've you know made to look a bit fancy so I'll have to try and do a bit more research but I'm pretty sure I couldn't find anything about them West's patent don't know what I was doing wrong last time but I did find them so here they are George West's patent solitaires or later on called bachelor buttons as you can see, they've got two tabs on either side and you'd press these in and it would release its grip on the other piece and they would come apart for easy removal and installation in your collars. Um, the patent for these was um, lodged in 1872 and George West was the most prolific maker of these. There was other companies but... His design was um, very well made and uh, far superior, apparently. It seems like these were um, only around from about 1870 to 1890, so a pretty short period. But um, I think I've got about three of these and possibly one or two tops or backs, so I'll put them together and I'll show you them here. Here you can see a few of the solitaires here that I have found um, in the past and uh, you can see in that one the little spring it's missing the center bit through there though but um, those tabs would have held on a piece of shiny something silver wood anything like that there was all different sorts of faces on them and squeeze in the two tabs and that would release this bit and that one is pearl on there and it's got a little collar there and that would drop down on that shaft and when you squeeze those in it would click in and hold your collar together and this one is actually in pretty nice um, condition you could probably nearly get it working if you wanted to and it's got a beautiful pattern on that side as well but anyway that's how they worked and that's what they were so um, I've now put two pieces of a puzzle together and I've you know I wondered what this was I thought it was a collar stud of some sort but I didn't know how it worked and 
I've just put two bits together and it's always satisfying to solve a mystery. So next time I find one of those, I'll know exactly what it is. So I think that's pretty cool. Well, I found that uh, brolly slider up there, umbrella slider, and this is the second one of these I've found in this area. The old spoke um, assembly or whatever you want to call it. Umbrella parts. Looks like we've got a musket ball and she's hit on that side. Interestingly enough, it looked like this has already been had already been dug, so I don't know whether someone dug it and then couldn't find it, so they just buried it again or what. But anyway, musket ball. Just there's where I got the musket ball. Now, and over here is where I got the buckle and the button uh, over here buckle and the button and um, that uh, thing I don't know what it is um, there's a few bricks around there's quite a few signals so I'm gonna come back here again for sure anyway I had an 18 down here <laughs> we have got a half penny I do believe so ringing that low, I'm going to go on a limb and say she's a Britannia. So we'll give her a clean and we'll see what date we've got. There we have a 1884 Britannia half penny. Not the best um, cleanest coin, but we haven't got any sun to shine her up in today. And on that side we have Queen Victoria. So I'll try and get a bit cleaner at home, but um, anyway, 1884. So that is pretty cool. Well, I think this is going to be our last um, <laughs> hole of the day. We've got to get going. So last hole, let's live dig it, see what we've got. See if we can end on a bit of nice juicy rubbish. <laughs> 16, 17. See what I've got. And what is that? It's going to be the old faithful friend, the tar pilot. It is too. <laughs> so that's what we're ending on. The old tar pilot. Which makes you think maybe there was a tent here at some stage. <laughs> <laughs>